guys, Vizzerlo Productions here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Nintendo and Reggie's statement that they're going to have a big E3 this year and new IPs and unconventional games and a lot of other stuff. So I wanted to give my thoughts on this for two reasons. One, because of course it's E3 biggest and two, it's a very bold statement to make from Reggie and I wanted to get my because I haven't been doing that really that much unique stuff lately so I wanted to do that so basically if you don't know Reggie Reggie gave an announcement that Nintendo's E3 for 2017 is going to be huge it's gonna be brand new IP unconventional games as they already stated and lots of other Nintendo switch and 3ds stuff of course, there's not going to be anything Wii U, because that's Nintendo. So, yeah, the first thing that I have to point out is that Reggie has made some statements in the past. Like, one of my, one of the bi biggest examples I've seen is, like, Reggie stating, uh, stating that Breath of the Wild will undoubtedly release in 2016. And it's 2017, and it came out this month. Yeah, it's kind of a... Kind of a bit of a way too bold of a statement to make. So, of course, there's that. But I think that maybe if, like, the E3 that Nintendo's been doing recently haven't been that strong, and then they did the ones that um, that were literally just directs. So, they haven't been that strong. So, if they're, like, able to do... If they're able to um, make this E3, like... The biggest thing, like, it's been it's been anticipated for years, the E3 that you all have been waiting for. Like, yeah. However, Nintendo did also say, and Reggie, that there's not gonna be too many sequels, apparently. Well, not, they didn't, well, yeah, that's kind of pretty much what they're implying, not too many sequels. So, yeah, that's not, that's, I, I the thing is, I think that um, Nintendo's gonna need quite a lot of sequels to kick off the Switch's launch because without that I don't really see how well because it's it's already doing the Switch is already doing really well but I think they're gonna need to do more if they want to kick it if they want to get it up even like higher like maybe going to um like if they can get um enough sequels on their own games like because uh there's also there's also been the theory that Nintendo's trying to has been trying to draw people back in with the NES Classic and all that. People who haven't been with them for a couple, um, for a couple years and couple uh, generations of systems. So that could be their theory, but um, sequels would be a very good idea for that. So I don't get why they're not doing too many sequels. It might be part of their master plan to make a comeback. Again, you never know with Nintendo. They've done so much stuff before. And really, that's my uh, main first impressions. But the um, other things that you have to say is that I do think that um, Nintendo's going to have to keep E3. Like, I, I I'm thinking they're gonna have to push really hard if they want um, if they really if they want the Switch to stand out from the crowd because like if they um be because E3 is when everything everything big happens for games. But if they're but if the E3, like, this year, if Remy, er, Remy, if Reggie says that, um, E3 is gonna be, um, be really big and then it's not very big, then, of course, we're never gonna be able to trust him with E3 again. But I still think that if they are able to pull off E3 well, then E3 is gonna have, like, a uh, first Switch for the Nintendo Switch and the 3DS. Not I'm not really that too hyped about. If they can get enough going for the Switch, then we may be able to see more people be picking up, more people be showing up online, more people to play Splatoon 2 with you, more people to play, uh, I don't know, whatever multiplayer game's gonna be. Uh, Overwatch, which maybe, please. Uh, yeah. So those are my thoughts on Reggie talking about and Nintendo talking about their big E3 for this year. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please tell me anything I can improve in the comment section below because I am pretty experienced with YouTube, but I um I just started this channel a couple months ago. So yeah. All right guys, I'll see you all later.